The U.S. Marshals Service says a man who appeared in video footage of a 2016 Los Angeles Dodgers game only bears a strong resemblance to John Ruffo and is not the most wanted criminal himself. The Marshals Service previously said Ruffo, a fugitive who has been on the most wanted list for 23 years, might have been seen the baseball game. Ruffo was convicted in one of the largest bank fraud scams in American history. The tipster and family members were fully cooperative with law enforcement and provided detailed information regarding the attendee. Officials verified the identity of the man at the baseball game using fingerprinting, among other measures, according to multiple reports. Earlier this week, the Marshals Service issued a press release saying that it was asking for the public's assistance to identify a 2016 Dodgers game attendee who investigators say strongly resembles a 15 most wanted fugitive who has been on the run since November 1998. They also advertised Arewa. Footage from the baseball game, which took place on August 5, 2016, shows a man who fits Ruffo's description seated behind home plate. The Marshals Service released an image that zeroed in on the man at the baseball game, as well as a rendering of what Ruffo may look like today. Ruffo, who is now 66, was convicted in 1998. He and several accomplices tricked banks into funding a fake research project they claimed was for a tobacco company. Approximately $13 million of the money stolen by Ruffo was never recovered. He was sentenced to over 17 years in prison, but, after he was convicted, he remained free on bail. He is believed to have fled via a New York airport instead of reporting to a federal prison in New Jersey. U.S. Marshals said in a statement earlier this week they have pursued hundreds of leads across the country and around the world in search of Ruffo. They also noted that Ruffo has been called the master manipulator. Contributing, Scott Gleason, USA Today.